me stop playing, but oh my god. <laughs> On a Sunday morning. Hello, people. Me again. <laughs> Another beautiful day. Yeah, hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. We're excellent. What? What's, what's up, Steve Duck fans? What's happening? Oh, we talking about AMD this morning. What's up with it? All right. What's up, Steve Duck fans? You know, the tribe, nation, universe, world, legion. What's happening? Mob, what's, what's good? <laughs> Nerds, geeks, and freaks. You investigators, what's that? All right, what I got for y'all? Oh, 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 we talking about AMD and Windows. All right, <laughs> says here AMD fixed Windows 11. <laughs> Standby Ryzen wake issues with uh, latest chipset driver. Says here this week finally rolled out a chipset driver package version 6.0.6.1.01.25.35.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
our sensor fusion hub. Yeah. Anyway, uh, as, as the name suggests, the SFH helps AMD manage, process various sensor data. AMD SFH 1.1, driver 1.1.0, no, SMH.1.1, driver 1.1.0.16, uh, fixes simple uh, orientation updates and accounts, report ALS data if valid only, updates the backend lib for comparing the color and Lux uh, uh, Co FF included additional platform and Axel WA uh, set set mode uh, twice, and then support stutter uh, parse uh, application. And then yeah, that's the end of that. So you Windows you you Windows lovers, AMD to the rescue. <laughs> And they just fix the sleep, the uh, the sleep and sleep and wake uh, 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 driver. Oh, what's, what's this one? Oh, oh, this, oh, oh, this is the previous article where it talks about AMD releases new chipset for Ryzen seven, Ryzen eight thousand, seven thousand, five thousand, four thousand, three thousand, and more updates. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let me get through this. Sitting here playing around here. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> sitting here messing around. Says there, uh, AMD today released new chipset driver for its socket AM4, as well as mobile platform. The company is yet to publish the release notes of the new driver. We waited a while to see, but there's still nothing at the moment. This was a previous article. So as such, we don't exactly know What's the change in what's the change log holds? It says regardless, it's good to see that the company is out with a new chipset driver after a long time. Also considering it has been the holiday season in the U.S. It says here, chipset chipset driver totally improves or address uh, bugs or issues with Windows powered plan USB, among others. They also add optimization for newly released processors which is a high possibility this time as AMD just released its Ryzen 8000 G series desktop APU for socket AM5. The performance uh, cutting STAPM -STA bug though is more likely to be resolved via firmware uh, uh, update. And then it says here, uh, uh, it says you can download the, uh, the download the new AMD chipset driver version 6.01.25.2342 from this page, AMD officials website. Then it says beside the chipset driver, AMD also released a new special display driver for Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League under Adrenaline Edition 23.40.02.03. It releases notes. Are as follows. Hmm. Yeah, Steam Deck fans getting spoiled. It says there's so, uh, new game support. Suicide Squad Killer Justice League fixes. Corruption may be observed while playing Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League with ray tracing enabled. Known issues. Uh, Death Loop may experience extended load times on some AMD graphics products, such, such as the. Uh, RX uh, 6900 XT, Dead Space may experience an application crash after enabling RTAO on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 6800. Then it says uh, excessive stuttering may be experienced when first playing a match in Overwatch 2. Audio may intermittently become out of sync with the video when recording from AMD software Adrenaline Edition. Using AVI codec, Oculus Rift 5 may display with a green tint and on AMD RX 7000 GPU series. Then it says after system reboot, Parsec host application may experience a crash on AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 7900 XTX. During Microsoft team meeting, the camera would intermittently display loops footage on some products. Then it says, such as the AMD Ryzen 
7840U processors. All right, that's and it says you can download the driver from the official website. But other than that, yeah, that's it in a nutshell. So AMD, that was a previous article, but in the newer one now, they uh they fixed the uh they fixed the wake issues with Windows 11. So that should be some good news for you Steam Deck for you uh Windows 11 users and. And you, uh, Suicide Squad kill the Justice League users? Yeah. AMD took care of you. Now, you add that with the V-Sync and then the Cre uh, Creo utility on the Steam Deck. Oh, yeah. That should help out a lot. <clears throat> but other than that, you guys are good. Yeah. AMD, a a AMD to the rescue. <laughs> yeah. They're always, coming up, they're always coming out with new updates. Whether it's from this, the GPU side, uh, CPU side, they're always coming out with something, you know, so, yeah, keep you guys in the loop. But they, they fixed the, uh, the issue that was, uh, dealing with Windows 11. Unable to wake up? Okay. AMD took care of it. <laughs> so, yeah, you guys are good. Yeah. Anyway. I'm going to leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still Star Wars, Star Trek, Thank Poor Dark Side. Oh, go. Peace. Alright.